I'd say being the biggest um, real estate company in the world, that brings a lot of things with it. Um, Know-how, knowledge, um, support. We can be have our own personalities and um, sell the way we want to sell without being stuck in a box. When you have all of the support behind it, and that of course helps them, helps us, and uh, ends up uh, I'm here now drinking champagne, speaking to you guys, all right, so. New Zealand is not just one, one size fits all. We're a truly international brand. And I think being a part of a worldwide brand gives us that opportunity to network with all nationalities. So that's just something about Remax, and this is what we, we put together last year for our new rookie that joined us. It was such a drive for me to get that rookie of the year. You got what it takes. And roll now. Once you sell four houses in a month, keep going. It's exciting, isn't it, to be part yeah. of Remax? Yeah. And this is what you will get when you join Remax. We do think that no other join Remax. opportunity is here for you. Remax has an abundance of listings and wants you to join the team and take your real estate career to new heights. We offer you a favorable commission split and in depth training so you are empowered to sell your product and you can work from all over New Zealand. We're not swamped with people in offices, so there's no competing with your team, yet plenty of stock available for you to sell. Great leadership, great culture, and cutting edge disruptive marketing ideas. Join Remax and learn new knowledge of selling house and land packages, new builds, terraced houses, investments, and apartments nationwide. And if you don't already have your real estate license, you can come on site and study at the Remax Training Institute online or at head office where you'll meet the real champions of the industry and gain on-site hands-on training with live examples. If you want to be a champion, Remax is offering scholarships for the right candidates, so enroll now. Well guys, if you think about joining real estate, there's no better place to start with Remax multiple opportunities, multiple products. I love working here at Remax because the team is so friendly and so supportive. If you are where you are right now and you're only doing one thing, you come to Remax, we do all things real estate. We want you to come and work with us. We want you to be successful and leave a legacy for yourself and for your family. Through the mentorship, through the product knowledge and through the stock that is provided, I've already signed up 30 contracts. And you can too. Come join the Remax family and take your career to the max. Well, that is, um, that is a presentation about how to become an agent and be, uh, to have a career with us. And look, you can have a career with other brands, but you want to exceed your wealth. You want the master teaching. You want to know everything about real estate. I call it the four season, okay? You've got to be a four season agent, okay? You might join another real estate company, they only teach you to do one thing, which is listen, sell house, but they never teach you how to build a house, how to do a subdivision, how to sell apartments, and how to sell internationally, how to present. Uh, we teach you all of that. So it's not just about real estate, but it's about even become someone else that you'll be inspired to yourself, your community, and your whole family. Okay. So don't be an average person, be a great person and demand for the best. No. And nobody sells more real estate than Remax. Well, that's so that concludes my presentation, and I hope that you 
all will be inspired by my message. And don't forget, you know, uh, you started, you started this country now in comparison, yes, uh, better than me. So you got a hit start, really. Don't think that you got a disadvantage. Yes. Think you got a hit start because I didn't get a hit start. Correct. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, uh, Don. Uh, and it's it's such an inspiring presentation. So tell me, when do I sign up and where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just started feeling what the hell was I doing all these years. <laughs> So, no, I think that's uh, fantastic. Um, we will um, uh, throw open uh, the thing for Q&A now. But before that, a few questions which came to my mind. And then um, uh, just uh, before, um, uh, you know, I throw open to everyone, uh, just to let you know, you know, uh, if you want to uh, ask a question, uh, in the reactions button in the bottom, there is a button called raise hand. So you can please raise your hand and then you'll be in queue and I will uh, come to you and then you can unmute and ask your question directly. So um, one very important thing that came out in your presentation, Don, you said it's all about uh, uh, dedication and hard work, right? Yes. Uh, but even if uh, um, uh, that's definitely a very important soft skill, but if someone comes to you and says, uh, Don, I want to become a real estate agent or a salesperson, what are the top three qualities you will look into that person? It's, um, it's quite simple. Uh, loyalty, trust, respect, and hard work. Okay, okay. That's, that's the only quality that we're looking for in a person. Okay, now you say you're loyal, hmm. but after six months or a year, you might not be loyal. Okay. Then you ruin your career anyway. Hmm. You say you hard work and you're not going to hard work, then that, that's no good. Hmm. And you don't have respect for anyone, then that's not going to work. <laughs> Yes, so. yes, yes. Okay. So, so according to you, those are the key things. But what about like many people say that, you know, um, they want to start, but they don't have the contacts and the network. Um, what do you say to that? Well, no one has a contact in the network when they first started. Okay. I don't have any network when I first started in particular, but what I did do was I walked the street and I gave up my 500 business card in 90 days. I give to the lawnmower man, I give, no, the policeman gave me a ticket and I sold that policeman 11 houses. <laughs> he gave me a ticket and I gave him my card and I sold one house. Then over the next few years, I sold 11 properties. So now I've got a lot of police on my uh, on my fund because I've got all the police now on my side. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So basically, uh, yeah, you are a master salesman, so obviously you can do that. Um, Okay, so I, I think we'll start with some questions and then I'll come back again. So we'll start with Bijil. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, and you can ask a question. Yeah. Hi, it was really motivating and really nice to see. And I'm really passionate about, you know, working into a real estate career. But the only thing which, uh, you know, is a barrier for me is like, you know, the visa stuff and all those things which comes down the line. So then uh, does Remax support like, you know, us getting like residency or something when we are, you know, in that line as well? Because then I can, you know, just shift my career from whatever I'm doing to Remax. I can be a real estate, but then, you know, if the, I have, since I have a three years work visa, what after that then I go back? Well, um, we have uh, helped a, a few people in the past in this area. And Remax itself, not just myself, but the Remax network around the country, if the right candidate come, they can provide that assistance as well. So by the end of the day, you've got to present yourself, your determination, the franchisee or the business owner likes what you do. Yes, they all can help uh, certain people for that. Okay. Because that's like the ma major thing which, you know, uh, keeps me away from but, it. Like, you know, yeah. I can be uh, put as a self-employed and I can do things, but then I'm like, you know, where is my future down the line? Because mostly for migrants, it would be like that. For ones who are like residents or citizens, they don't worry, like, you know, they're here permanent. But then for people like me, especially when you talk about, you know, problems what migrants face, this is the first problem which we'll face is like, you know, we'll be tied up with the timings and, you know, our visas, whatever time frame we have so that would be like so yeah, no, no, got your question. So basically, uh, it's a larger question, Don, that, um, uh, you know, with every in every industry, there are some visa requirements. So just to recap for our general audience, uh, uh, what are the visa requirements to become a real estate agent? Well, basically, you have to have uh, your work uh, resident here to become an agent. Okay, That's number one, otherwise, you're, you're, well, you can't be. So 
So that's something you need to sort out, but your study also as well, because otherwise it will cost you more money. Okay, sure. Okay, I think that solves your question. Let's go to the next Rajesh. Uh, you can put your hand down, please. Yeah, Rajesh, uh, you can unmute yourself now. Yeah. Where are you, Rajesh? Yeah, yeah. Can you unmute yourself? One minute. Yeah, okay, yeah. Start, please. Yeah. Yes, uh, I would just like to thank uh, um, MCST um, uh, Gary Gupta sir and Don ha for this uh, nice presentation, setting this up for us. And um, a very good opportunity. I know I've been in this country for a long time. I've got, I've got my citizen and everything. It's a time for me to move on to something like what Don was saying is to make uh, things for my family to settle down and I guess um, financially and you know looking forward. It's not a daily routine like work, and I think this is a very challenging job. And just want to thank you for the nice presentation, and I'm very attracted to it. Okay. Um, uh, I just, uh, um, I'm just uh, like you said, sir. I, I'm ready to join in when I just uh, maybe uh, the contact that has been given, uh, uh, Alan and Heaven, sir. Uh, yeah. Their contact, and I will contact them. Yeah. So I, just, I think I uh, we will, uh, Rajesh. We will send an email to everyone after this yes. uh, show, and um, if uh, Rizwan is listening to me, he can help us guide us with the right contacts, and we can yes. send it to you. So you can get in touch with the team. Okay. So that is lovely. I mean, the earlier the better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, we'll do that so, today itself. No problem. Yes. So thank you so much for that. I just that comment. Yeah. We'll take to the next one. Uh, Rob Norbert. Uh, hi, Gary. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, unfortunately, the video is not working since beginning. That's it. That's it. Uh, good, you can hear my voice. Yeah. And uh, thank you, uh, Gary and uh, uh, Mr. Don, for uh, organizing this uh, event webinar. Yeah. I have two questions in this related in this regard. One is uh, I relate to Bijal. What Bijal said that uh, if we want to become a real estate agent, we have to do some course from a college and get certified and get your license. So already we are on work visa. So uh, again, we have to spend international fees for this course or domestic fees, or is the fees less enough to take a chance? I think that um, it's a difference in fees for permanent residents and uh, work visa students. So. There is a, a difference in fees, but uh, it depends on your provider that uh, there's like five different providers. They, they put a different course provider for you and different costs. So we can find out those fees for you. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the next question was, uh, uh, what is the present market of real estate in New Zealand? Like uh, what are the trends up and downs? Is it worth it now or in the future? Well, right now, uh, right now we are short of listing to sell. So, for example, we're short of like uh, 30% of property to sell right now. In Auckland right now, we only got 7,800 property for sale. That means in 2.3 weeks, we got sell out everything. And there is more real estate agent now in the marketplace uh, in Auckland. There's about 8,500 real estate agents in Auckland. And there's only 8,000 property to sell, for example. So... So therefore, if everybody thinks that, wow, well, there's no property to sell, but at the same time, there's 45,000 consent that's issued. Mm. So that means we've got okay. actually too many properties to sell. But most people focus on the existing properties. They don't focus on the property to be built mm. and they don't po focus on the apartments. So in your area right now, you wouldn't see houses getting built around you, but no one is focusing on those. They don't want to know. They all want to compete for this one next door neighbor's house that's for sale. Mm. So if you're smart, you work in the area that no one works, then you make a lot of money. And that's where we could act. That's how we did the hundred million in a month. We sell things that people can't see. Well, wow. that's, that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. Thank okay. you, Mr. Don. Yeah. Thank you, Norbert. Uh, we'll go to Big Run. Uh, Big Run, you can ask your question now. You can unmute yourself if you have a question. I think he has a question in the chat box. 
okay uh, okay he's put a question that so he says hey don thank you for your presentation i've learned quite a lot in such a short time about real estate i just had one question i would like to study the salesperson course and would like to do this through remax how do i sign up so i think that you have already answered we will send a, a email and is that uh, all they have to do or is there any technicality for sign up yeah there's a uh, form you fill in and they will send you enrollment forms and things like that your id and things like that so that will be done by our provider okay okay sure okay i think that's uh, done you can lower your hand uh, next is saurav saurav arora yes you can unmute yourself and ask the question yeah uh, first of all thank you don and gary for your time today and uh, my question is like i have a regular job which is 5 days and uh, can i start this career as a part time initially and then i can switch my whole career to become as a real estate agent yeah so um that's a that's a very good question so i'll tell you a story about uh my brother he was a baker so he he didn't want to sell his business because he was risking losing his income so he take a suit to work and then if someone rings he gets changed and he go and show him the house and then he comes back to become a baker for two years he was doing that and he realized that this is not working for me because i was making more money selling a house than become a baker running his own business so he sold his business some 15 years ago and then i had a custom officer who was earning good money working in the airport he was working part time in the weekend and then he quit his job and then he became a full time agent and 15 years later he's still an agent now but in today's market when you work part time work full time and part time real estate really if you work part time real estate you've got to work the equivalent of your full time job because working 2 or 3 hours or 8 hours a week in real estate won't cut it for you you can use your job to cash flow your career until you're good enough to quit your job so you've got to be super intelligent super smart working harder than your normal real estate agent because the normal real estate agent honestly they only work about 25 30 hours a week they don't work 40 hours so you got to use that intelligent to to catch up another word you got two jobs okay so you go really hard out for example you could earn 40,000 dollars this weekend and your job might pay you 50,000 is it wow i can quit my job now so we had a agent that was earning 90,000 a year for example okay he was working part time with us and he quit his job uh last year and then in one particular month he got paid 55000 so that funded him for the next 8 to 9 months and then he now earns more so well, so yeah that's a um, situation that most of us are in so you can't take the risk but if you um work your way up then you can okay all right thank thanks for your uh, answer yeah and uh, i have another question okay. so uh uh I have already sent all my documents to the skills college as you told me like uh, uh, one of your branch manager which is Corina Mansa yes so i'm in touch with her so i've already set up all the documents and uh, i'll be starting my course soon right. so yes. i have a question like uh, when when will i start list listing my own house like first how many months will i under I, I work under the supervisor and then I'll be have my own listing to sell like freely. So soon as you pass your license and you have a contract with the company you work for, you can list your house straight away. You don't have to wait for six months. But when you have a, when you have a buyer that wants to buy that house, you need a supervisor to sign up the agreement to oh, sell. Oh. All right. That's, that's okay. 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 Yeah. So that answers your question. Okay. We yeah. are uh, losing time. We have only ten minutes left. So any quick uh, more questions? Otherwise, I also have a few questions. Anyone who has? Uh, sorry, we can put your hand down now. Uh, okay, Bijal, uh, you have another question. Yeah, quickly. Uh, so uh, during that six months time, when you are saying that we are going to learn, so do we get paid something, or it's just only when we actually buy, uh, you know, sell a house, only then we start getting yeah. paid? You you are not only going to be in commission, but however, uh, companies, uh, some company they they can offer you a a sort of like salary plus commission to assist you, but you know, really no company does that. They only offer maybe one to one per branch, or that's what we call a scholarship. depend on the person depend on the determined person and then that the company that can assist you so uh, it depends who you are so it means like if we want to come into that at least we need to get our 
like resources for like six months or something. <laughs> yes, correct. You've got to have enough money to to survive. Um, okay. Yeah, you can make a lot of money, but you've got to take the risk at the same time. So it's like an investment in yourself in your own career, right? So you have to, right. you know, have that investment. Um, okay. Uh, now next, um, you know, I was uh, hoping to speak to also one of uh, your associates, Rizwan. Rizwan, are you there uh, with the video? Because he's one okay. of his associates who has, uh, you know, uh, I think recently joined Remax. And um, so, uh, you know, just wanted to, uh, you know, ask you, Rizwan, uh, you are also a migrant and you've had a transition of career as well. Um, so can you just share quickly uh, in two, three minutes your experience with Remax and uh, give an insight to others, you know? Um, uh, I think my voice should be coming from that, uh, from Dong's camera. Uh, but we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you well. No yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, I've been in the journalism industry for six years and I have known uh, Don Ha during uh, those six years, Don and Mala. And when I joined, I, it it really appeared like a good opportunity. But then I thought, no, that's a mistake. It's an amazing opportunity. It's not just a good opportunity. It's an amazing opportunity. And every the first few weeks, I kept feeling that I should have done this a little much earlier. Uh, Don, I, I don't know whether Don might remember this, but uh, uh, Don and Don had actually offered me to join uh, his team uh, one or two years ago. But that time, uh, I was in, in the right space. So I know maybe I wasn't motivated enough. But then when Don, uh, this time when I joined, I kept really thinking that I should have done this much earlier. And then uh, from the outside, it appears that you just sell houses and then it's done. But when you are actually part of the industry, you realize that it's much more uh, than that. There are so many opportunities. The only thing that you need is a good motivation, a good mentor to back you, to uh, uh, push you. Yes. And of, of course, at times, scold you as well. And yes. at the same time, the most important thing that you need is to look for opportunities yourself. So yes. opportunities is not going to knock your door. Uh, right now, I'm working. Uh, it's been uh, at least seven months right now uh, since I joined. And right now, I see so many opportunities. The first few weeks, yes, I was a little uh, too scarce. I didn't. Uh, I, I felt I had didn't have enough work. But right now, my task list is full, and I actually have to do sometimes overtime to uh, fulfill my duties. So the opportunity that I see, and I'm also just to let everyone know that I'm also pursuing my uh, course in real estate, and I should be qualifying myself. Uh, in a few weeks time. Wow. That's lovely. That's lovely to uh, you. But then, uh, and this has all come from a place when I realized that I have much more opportunity uh, once I become an agent. I will have n number of opportunities. The only thing is how much uh, as, how much hungry I am. Yes. Uh, that is the amount of food I'm going to get outside. Okay. More importantly, uh, this one, uh, you were at a job before, but what has that uh, being here has taught you about your knowledge and education and other fields? Well, my knowledge about real estate and other fields has expanded like uh, anything. I see things from a different perspective and uh, being over here allows me to allows me to take risks allows me to learn every second day and uh, yes i have been learning i actually in the last six months besides performing my duties i have been on that learning curve and okay. then and the sitting with dawn or listening to dawn or being dawn as your boss and as your mentor you keep learning every day something new every day and you keep and and uh, like uh, most of our listeners today would be conquering with me that uh, when, when you are in a room with him and when you're listening to him, you cannot uh, think anything else other than the motivation that you actually need to push yourself to get ahead in life. That's true. That That's definitely true. I think uh, the kind of, uh, you know, I, I had always heard about you, Don, about your uh, legendary lectures. Uh, and today we had one and I think, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, full marks to you on giving us motivation. I think uh, 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 that's definitely there. So just uh, thank you, Rizwan, for sharing your thoughts. And um, just, uh, uh, Don, before we uh, come to a close, um, uh, can you give any lasting comments and, uh, you know, one what are the top three myths around real estate that you would say that you want to, you know, remove today? You know, what are the top three or four myths that people have about real estate? Well, firstly, people think that there are too many real estate agents in the market and there's not enough houses to sell. Uh, but my myth will be, well, actually, no, 
there's too many real estate agents in the market and there's not many good ones uh, and you and that's just like you know you you get an all field industry you get that yeah. and can you earn a lot of money selling real estate um, yes you can but can you also earn no money selling real estate yes you can Mm. Are you good enough? No, I'm not good enough. I just joined. I just come here in this country. I know no one. Mm. Uh, nobody will talk to me. Mm. Well, that is your own excuse because because all real estate agents will start at one day where they all study real estate paper. They all go to the same real estate, regardless if you're rich, poor, uh, famous, not famous. You all can do the same paper. So yeah. therefore, we all come out the same. So why should we let someone else push in our place mm. and, and take our place? Because yeah. why? So that is really this myth that you create that you're not good enough. Well, yes. look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So can I ask one more question? Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, we also are joined by Ashima, who's our uh, trustee, and I'm sure uh, you know she'll give the closing. But before um, I hand over. You know, uh, one very important thing you said, uh, Dawn, that in your own ex life experience, uh, like you said, you didn't, uh, uh, you know, work with your own community because, you know, uh, they didn't want you to succeed. Um, I think that experience happens with a lot of people. So the question is that, um, is it uh, how easy it is to create connections across different communities and uh, working not with your community, but other communities? So um, is it really difficult or is it something that can be achieved? Actually, I want to tell you a joke that's quite funny. Mm. My wife is actually Fijian Indian. Okay. Okay. So I understand about the Indian community very strongly. Mm. But the myth was, this is a Vietnamese myth, was, oh, Don Ha Mary, an Indian, and she's really rich. And that's <laughs> where he get all his money from, right? And then, and then the Indian said that, uh, she married him because he's got all the money. <laughs> and, and then what happened was the Europeans then saying like, we got to go to Don House because he's Chinese. He's got all the Asian clients so we can sell a house to him. But the reality <laughs> is none of my clients are Asian, right? Yeah. And then the Indian then say that we got to go to Don House because he's got an Asian client. But in the end, yes. oh, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I can understand. Yes, the world is like that, you know. So, um, yeah, so that's also encouraging to know that, yes, you can create connections beyond your communities. And I think uh, that's a one very good thing that I like about real estate is that I think it is the most um, multi-ethnic and dynamic um, sector. Um, uh, if you see any real estate firm, they have uh, people from every ethnicity possible. Um, so I think that's um, and I'm sure in your team as well. The key advice I want to give to all the listeners today, this is the key point for you, how to get ahead in this country. Is, yes, you're not from here. But I think if you see someone, you greet them. Hello, how are you? How's your day? You greet them with respect, with, with a smile. You can, you can command respect in any industry, such as like you meet someone today, said, hi, how are you? I'm Don Howe from Remax. Uh, how's your day been? And I said, oh, my day's been good. I said, oh, the weather's not very good today. And I said, oh, I got a dog. And oh, how's your dog? And I got a dog too. My dog died last year. Next month, you create a community. So as a migrant, we our, our voice got to be louder, number one. And our voice got to be have a respect for the other people, take interest in them. But the myth here is when we walk past someone, a stranger, and we ignore them, and they think that we are better than them, Mm -hmm. And we ignore them. But the minute we greet them with respect, with trust, take interest in them, their weekend, their pet, their dog, their careers, mm -hmm. you can command respect in any, any culture. Mm -hmm. so you must make that change in your company, for example, in, in your neighborhood. Uh, you will see the change. And that is an art form that you must command. Amazing. I think that's an amazing tip. Uh, so on that uh, note, I will, um, uh, you know, invite our uh, trustee Ashima Singh. Um, so I uh, thank you, Ashima, for joining us. I know uh, you're very happy today. 
Yes, uh, so Ashima is a lawyer um, uh, and she's a property law expert um, and runs her own uh, firm called Legal Associates in Papa Toy Toy. And um, uh, she's uh, our trustee and one of her very uh, great supporters of what we do. Um, and so thank you, Ashima, for joining and uh, over to you for your closing remarks. Thank you, Gary. And plus, in one of the introduction, I, I should say I'm a kind of a little sister to Dawn as well. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my officially um, yes. adopted sister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that. <laughs> yes. I thought I'll complete the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see you. And um, I have heard Dawn so many times and I always, every session I get, inspired by something or the other. First, I want to say thank you to Rizwan for sharing his views and his experience so far for eight, nine months uh, working uh, with Dawn. I must say, Rizwan, you got the best mentor. Yeah. It, it, it's a blessing to work with him. I know. I mean, I haven't worked with him, but I work, whatever I learned from him, yes. I could feel like being, if you're working with him as an employee, oh, that's such a blessing because yes. that's the amazing thing about Dawn. I mean, his words, that whatever he says, it's so motivating and it is so inspiring and it is so deep yeah. that you really think about it when you sit. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Dawn, for coming all the way, like thinking about it to just coming on air with us, mentoring us, all of us again, um, because I know this is your passion because now Dawn has gone to that level where he's only mentoring. That's it. Um, the main thing which I always inspire and, and like about you, Don, is Don is always about, it's not about business. He's a, about maintaining or creating the relationships with people. Yeah. And that's why, you know, that the key, um, the key note, what you said to me, um, to us is mm -hmm. command respect. So that's the way how we can really, once your voice is respectful, yes, you gain the respect from other person as well. Thank you for that. I mean, Yes, we try our best, but sometimes we still lag behind in something or the other. Thank you, Don, for reminding us to be respectful to everyone so that we can get uh, build more connections. Um, but yeah, th this is amazing that you still don't have. I mean, you you initially didn't have the uh, the clients in your community, but then in the other communities, that's such an inspiring thing because yes. for us, we always think, okay, uh, let's find some Indians. You know, yeah. being an Indian, I would be yeah. like, okay, let's yeah. find some yeah. Indian class. It's yeah. easier. You always want order. to start with your own community, you know. Exactly. Huh. But yeah. because going beyond that and building yeah. the relationships and where you are without yeah. that community backing, it's amazing. It's we, I think we have so many things to learn from him, isn't yeah. it, Gary? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's just mind blowing. In fact, I want to invite you, Don, for another session just on motivation and success. Oh, yeah. I think Don, uh, Don, we have... I can give you a session on wealth management, Gary. He yeah. is amazing with wealth management. Wow. And he can give you, he's a motivational speaker, he is a life coach. Oh, you just name it, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I become me, but I'm just happened to be here in this world. And the man that I'm supposedly sure she, he said this to me. He said, Don, my English is not very good, but your English is really good. And you have to teach people because you owe it to the people to teach to them. And and look at me, I'm, I'm teaching people all over the world right now. Wow. Yes. Wow. And really and, uh, good on you, Don, for giving back to the community. Really good on yes. you. Thank you so much, Don. Thank you from Thank you. my class, from my, myself personally for coming here and just enlightening us more I and more. I want to come over your house for dinner and this lockdown Please. has to keep us apart. Let's go to level two first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My curries are ready. It's only waiting for level two. <laughs> yep, can't wait. <laughs> no, thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you, Gary. Over to you. Okay. Thank you, Ashima. So um, uh, th uh, with that, I think we uh, take a close today. Um, thank you again, Don, for taking time out of your uh, uh, you know busy schedule. Uh, right now, you can just see our website, migrantcareers.org.nz. Uh, please go on our website, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Uh, we keep sharing a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, we keep inviting speakers like Don, who can keep guiding you on your careers. Uh, we also do a lot of boot camps. So, uh, Don, if you may not know, we uh, do regular two-day workshops when uh, the lockdown is over. We do physical as well, uh, where we, uh, you know, talk about different aspects of building your career, starting from CV to interviews to soft skills, networking. 
So uh, we hope that we can invite you also someday into that and uh, you know talk to a larger community. So uh, yeah, you can uh, close that uh, Kangsha. Yeah. So thank you so thank much. You. Anything and, uh, uh, last words, Don? Yeah. Look, I think that uh, I have I have given you my time today, and I have given you the truth to the audience that listened to me today. And if you and and now we're going to say trust, loyalty, and respect, right? So yeah. if you if you if you have trust, you have loyalty, you have respect for my time today, for Gary's time. All we ask from you is send a chat message in for the feedback to what you got out of it today. Yes, that's the only one thing that we require back from you. Yes. So if you have yeah. respect for what we do today and for my time, that's all I ask of you. Yes, that's right. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. Thank you. On that note, um, uh, have a nice uh, weekend, everyone. And please do send your feedback on the same email you got uh, the uh, Zoom link from. Okay. All right. Take care. Thank you.